Oh, she's a giant, 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 giant. Well, boys and girls, I have a treat for y'all today. We have been waiting on the river to drop for over two months and we're finally getting out on the river. We're actually upriver today. Um, we're gonna be dropping the big boat in, as you guys can tell behind me. And uh, we're gonna be trying to catch some big bass, but if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, we're gonna have a good day today. Got my man Cody. Yo, Cody. Yo. Yo. Got Cody in the back. And we got the boat already. Let me show you guys this real quick. So I didn't have the cover on the boat and look how much pollen got on this thing. And this is in a day, right, Cody? Yeah, one day. One day. Look how much pollen. Even the pollen on my rod and reels from driving over here. It is horrible. Well, we're going to be searching for some big bass, and uh, I'm hoping that we're just going to make it happen. I'm so excited to be out here on the river. We got Cody with the drone shots, too. We're going to be putting the drone up some today. And it's just going to be all in out a really fun day on the water. It's actually like 2.30 right now. It gets dark now around 7.30, 8 o'clock. So we got about five hours of fishing. Five hours to catch five big bass that weigh about 30 pounds. That's the goal here. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, drop the boat in the water and start fishing. We're gonna go up river. We might have to head back down, but I think for, for at the beginning we'll head up. Got a few spots marked off. I just haven't been here in a very long time. Um, so we're gonna go up here, check this way. You guys look along the bank. The river has dropped so much. Um, the water is very murky too. I think it's gonna be good. We're gonna head up river a little bit, fish around some little lakes up there, um, see if we can find some fish. We're gonna move very fast today. Um, if you guys are wondering about the conditions, it's very cloudy out. You got barely any sun peeking through right now. Almost looks like it's about to rain, but uh, there's no rain nearby. These bass are gonna be roaming a lot more. On the Savannah River, like prime conditions, at least for me, um, I love when it's sunny out, bluebird skies. If I was on any other lake, I wouldn't say that, but here out on the river, bass really relate to cover. And um, when the sun's out, you know, they're gonna be more predictable. They're gonna tug up on that cover tighter. Today, with it being very cloudy, these bass are gonna be roaming a little bit more. They're gonna be a little bit harder to find. Um, it's gonna be more of the right place at the right time, covering a lot of water with the moving bait. We're still gonna pick up a Texas rig, toss around a bit. But for today, I think we're gonna put on like a Thunder Cricket by Strike King, cover a ton of water with the Chatter Donk, and uh, see if we can catch a big one. We're about to get it started. We have a white Thunder Cricket tied on right now. I was using this at Lake Mare. By the way, if you, need, you guys need to go check out that video. Um, we caught some really good fish. Go. Nice, dude, I got you. you guys want to go check out that Lake Mare video, I highly suggest you go do it. It was a tough day of fishing, but we pulled through. We caught a lot of fish, caught some good ones. The last upload on the channel. We're going to tie this Thunder Cricket on. I think we're going to start off just covering water. I got a Texas rig tied on as well, which is I mean, you, you got to have that when you come out on the river. That's that's just a bait that you need to have in the boat. And we're just going to start fishing. We're starting a little oxbow right now. We're not really in one of the lakes that ends in the back and the creek flows in. It's just a straight oxbow off the main river. And uh, we've caught some good fish here in the past. And I'm curious to see how these fish are acting today. Conditions are totally different. Um, I saw some people catch them out here in a few, few tournaments on Saturday and Sunday. But... Uh, the conditions were totally different than today. So I'm curious to see if these fish are gonna bite. The temperature has dropped the last few days. So I guess we'll see. We're gonna throw that Thunder Cricket, a bunch of this cover on the bank. Just kind of cover water here at the beginning and see what these fish are doing. So while we're at it, I'm gonna go ahead and put a Texas rig on. And this is the Rage Crawl. This is in black and blue. Different color than what we've been using. You know, we've been using some of these natural colors out in Lake Mare and uh, some of the other areas that we that we fished recently. I have no idea what that was. Um, but coming out here on the river, you know, your colors are going to change. You're going to start using some black and blues. You can still use some natural green pumpkins. Um, I've caught them on it out here, but with how dirty this water is, we're going to need more of a black and blue, black and red June bug. That's going to be the trick today. So I'm actually going to tie another rod. Um, this is a 3XD. That's from 10 to 12 foot. This uh, bluff bank right here is a little steeper. I kind of want to get more back in this oxbow. So I'm just going to put this on, kind of just cover water. Something to kind of cast around, see if there's any bass roaming around. It's an interesting little color too. I think it'd be good in this dirty water. I just kind of saw it and I was feeling it. So I'm like, you know what, let's just try it. Go with our gut 90% of the time out here. Go 
you'll, you'll see at some point. And you gotta be accurate, that looks so good right there. Yeah, it does. Your bass should be sitting there. Oh, he got me. That's a freaking tank. I think it's a mud. Yeah, it is a mud. Looks like there <laughs> should have been a bass in there. Got all the mud donkey to, to get the monkey off our back. There you little stinker. That's what we do with those. <laughs> you don't want to bring them stinky, slimy fish in the boat, but hey, that's that's a start. A little confidence booster. Just need these fish to bite. That's it. Oh, go! I don't know if that was a branch or one hit me. There it is. It's a bass too. Decent one. Ate it right off that grass. Mm-hmm. First little bass today. I was just about to pick up my spinner bait and have this little guy bite the crawl. Look at these little spots on him. He's all beat up. But hey, it's the first bass today. Caught a few muds. Pretty little chunky guy. Got some black marks on his fin. Thank you for biting, buddy. Let's get him back in the water, see if we can catch some more. I can't go any further. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Dude, I just had a... Cody, I had a massive one. I think he was on bed. Dude, he, he hammered it, and I can't get any closer because of how shallow we are, but that was a giant bass. Huge one, dude. He, like, spooked off. That was... That was actually crazy. I never experienced anything like that. I thought I was about to just have to. I can't believe he spooked. Like I, I would have sworn he would have bit again. He like went to the right. It's like I can't get any closer. Even if I do, I gotta kick up water. It's gonna make too much noise. I just would have sworn he would have bit again. I'm gonna try it one more time, dude. I can't get that out of my head. God. All right, it's all good. Probably freaked him out, dude. <laughs> just like landed on his head. He's like, what is this? Probably just scared him. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, it's a giant, 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 giant. We got a monster. Dude, this is like six, six pounder. We got a monster on. Might be bigger than that. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. I gotta get him on this side of the boat. He's barely hooked. I gotta, I gotta get him right here. Look how big that fish is. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. We've been waiting so long on that bite, baby. It's a five pounder. <laughs> Let's go, baby. First day back on the river in a while. Just missed a big fish and just caught a freaking massive one right there. Five pounder. Let's go. Oh, man, dude. <laughs> yes. Dude, give me a freaking high five, baby. Let's go. Dude, that's a tank, dude. Sorry, guys. Don't have the scale today. What in the world? And we had it in the truck. Yeah. Well, there ain't no mistake in that. Dude. That's five pounder. Freaking five pounder. I want to show you guys exactly what I was throwing, but I'm going to put this baby in the box because I want a picture with her. That's a freaking tank. Look, how, look at that belly. 
Mm-mm-mm. That's a moose. That's what you call a river. A river giant, dude. <sighs> Guys, we have been hunting today. We put in up river. I've only fished here like two times, fished, or maybe three times last year. And I've never fished here this time of year. I had a hard time at the beginning just finding spots to fish in general. There wasn't many lakes around me. I didn't want to make any long runs up or down because um, we were on a time crunch today. Caught one bass, um, caught a few mud fish, started to work in the back of here, had a really good bite, super shallow in like inches of water. And then all of a sudden, five minutes later, we catch us a river giant. That is a big fish out here. So pumped about that. If you guys are wondering what I'm throwing, this is the same rage crawl that we had, black and blue, just on a one fourth ounce bullet weight, three odd extra wide gap hook. Got it paired up, custom pro on a Mach 2 combo. Man, I can't believe that. That's how we make it happen. Oh, that's a big girl. God, that's a good one, man. <laughs> what a fish. What a river bass right there. These are the fish that you dream about out here on the Savannah River to come out and catch. There's some good ones right there. Super fat belly. This is just a filled out fish. Let's go ahead and get a release on her. I want to get her right back in the water. Go back where she came from. <laughs> Not the best release, but hey, I was trying to switch hands with her and she's a little squirmy girl. A little squirmy. But man, that's our second fish today. We're gonna to keep on hunting, but man, does it feel good to hook one like that. Out here on the river, you don't catch many that size. Um, it's getting to be that time of year. Finally, the river dropped. Just blessed to be able to get out here today. Um, very nice day, but let's keep on hunting around, see if we can catch some more. You notice the only times I've got bites is when I slowed down today. Yeah. Like ultra slow. And I really threw, yeah. it's because they're on bed, dude. That's exactly why. Like that fish has just hit me. Like there's no other thing, that, unless it wasn't a bass and it was just something messing with it. But there he is. That's a dang big one. No, it's not. It's a decent one. Oh, nice. Closing off on the day, trying to get a few extra bites. These fish, I am having to tap my rod on the edge of these trees to get these fish to bite. Just a beautiful little chunky guy. Just a little tiny grunt. Nice little bass. Let's see if we can catch another one. I wanna get one more, come on, right here. One more, please. One more fish, come on, come on, come on, come on. That's a good one. No, it's not. It's a little fat red breast <laughs> or a warm mouth. Holy cow. What a fat dude. Oh my gosh. Look at that chunky guy. Wow, what a stud. If there's a fish, that's a stud. That's a stud right there. What a stud. Man, he bit that thing good, let me tell you. Nice. So we got like probably five minutes of fishing. We're gonna see if we can catch one more bass. We are a good bit away from the ramp. I'd say probably, probably 10, 15 minute drive, but we're gonna try to catch one more before the sun goes down. Should be one right there. Dude, that's a giant! Oh! <laughs> Cody's... Oh my god! He, and my hook's in the tree. Did you see how big that was? Yeah, what was he, four pounds? Oh, oh my... God, it was a football, man. Dude, that fish was so big! And we have to drive back, guys. We and... needed that fish. Oh, we needed that fish so bad, dude. I can't leave off that, Cody. We, we're gonna be driving in the dark, bro. I'm sorry. Hey. We got like, I understand. guys, we're like 10, 15 minutes from the ramp. We're gonna be driving in the dark, but hey, 
I mean, I just lost a dang four pounder right there. I swear I'm gonna spank this next fish that I catch, dude. <laughs> I'm gonna give them like a legit spanking. They should not be doing been this. Naughty, dude. They, 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 they have been the most naughty fish. I swear, dude. Like he deserves a little spanking, dude. Get off you. <laughs> Let's go. Mm. You deserve a spanking, boy. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, man, we're going to be driving back in the dark. But just, oh, I know the lighting's really bad, guys. But, man, I'm just so pumped. We get to go, come out on the river. It's been flooded for so long. That's a good little fish right there. Maybe a good one in the tournament. A little nice keeper. Oh, I knew we could catch like 10 more. But I think we're gonna have to head back, but uh, I'll catch you guys at the ramp or I'll catch you guys in the car. Dude, that was next cast. Mm, fat one, fat. Dude. I know I said we were leaving, but I actually lied. <laughs> Look how fat that warm mouth is. Mm -mm -mm. Deserves a spanking. Been naughty today. Yeah, the warm dude, he deserves a spanking, dude. <clears throat> yeah, dude. I'm freaking smoking them. I can't stop catching them. Like, I'm terrified to drive the river at night, but I'm just, it, it's like every cast, guys. Those two casts after the warm mouth. What is going on? He just hammered me. Dude, that's a dang good one. That's a fat, dude. That's one of the fattest river bass I've seen. Man, can you see it on the can? I can see it. Guys, I am, that that thing about the last cast is, I've said I'm gonna make one more cast like 12 times and I just keep catching them. <laughs> that's a good one. That's not like a two pounder and a one pounder body. Nice. Wow. What a day on the water. We just got off, finally heading back. We were out there for a little over four hours. And we made it happen. Let me tell you guys, I was starting to get nervous there for a minute. We fished a bunch of water that I just didn't think were the best places to fish. We finally got out to one of the lakes, started hunting around a little bit, caught a little bass. Um, then we ended up missing a really big fish saw that they were up shallow went and caught like a five plus pounder which was just awesome and towards the end you know we really put a hurt on this fish figured out that you had to throw that bait up there and just give it some little taps and that was the only way that they were eating it it's just crazy to see how the smallest adjustment will help you catch a lot more fish but i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit that like button stay tuned for some more river videos coming up soon because we're gonna have to get out there and film some bangers. Uh, but thank you guys so much for the support. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one.